to my YouTube channel. Sorry, if you there's like a flash of light, it is because I'm using natural sunlight today and it's like this blinding. Me. So annoying. So today I thought I'd do a hair tutorial because I've had quite a few people asking me recently, kind of out and about, and they've asked me how I've been doing my hair. So I thought I would show you. Seen as it's quite an interesting video, maybe. I don't know, it's up to you if you think it's interesting. So I always use my GHDs. These are really dirty, actually. They're quite old, these ones. So I can do with a new pair. I love my GHDs, though. They get a really good kind of curl in them. I always start with my Tangle Teaser and a Invisible. So let's get started. So I always start... Oh, I probably should turn on my hair strings, actually. Cool. They're making a little noise. So I always start just by, like, bringing it down. It's usually a bit of a mess, actually. Like this. This is usually my, like, sleeping hair. I've actually done some exercise this morning, so that's why it's been a little bit like this. And then let's lift it up. I tie it in the top knot. Sometimes I pick up the invisible, but it wasn't close to hand. So look, a really cute, like, ooh, Hawaii. Um, so yeah, so I separate it out. I tend to give the bottom bits more of a brush, like this. And I'm hoping you can see all of this, actually, because I don't know if you can. So then I tend to spray this Satinique Shine Spray on my hair, just to make sure it has a bit of like extra life. I'll just spritz it all over just to get it done. I'll do that and then I'll just brush it through. It can make it look a bit greasy to start with, but thank God for the hair strings because they kind of get rid of the excess. So, but they just give a bit of nice shine to it. So at this point my hair then always looks quite fluffy. Does it look quite fluffy today? I'm trying to see in the mirror. So if I look to the side, it's just because I've got a mirror, so I can actually see what I'm doing, because I couldn't find a mirror at the right height. So I then start by literally picking up a piece of hair, and then doing this. Ooh. And I kind of straighten it out at the top, and then I loosely push the bottoms, like that. And that gives me curl number one. And this is kind of how I do my hair basically all over. But I'll show you how I do the bottom bit. And I do the top slightly differently. So I then push, push, push. Round we go. Like that. And I basically keep working my way around. So then I'll pick up another bit. Like this. Do, do, do. My hair falls out all the time. Does anybody else with a really long hair have this problem? Because my hair literally feels like it's falling out constantly with long hair and it's really frustrating me. So, ooh, here we go. It's really hot. I hate that hot feeling on my hands. It feels like it's burning my little fingers. So sometimes I do little wider chunks. I don't really have like a specific size chunk I use. Because then it gives you different like shaped curls, so a bit. So let's just move. I'm sorry, I'm just moving the mirror. That's why I keep leaning forward. So this is what my bottom bits look like, and then I tend to get the hairspray. Are you? I'm using Pantene Extra Strong at the moment, just because that's what I have in my bedroom. And then I then will just spray that just over the ends. And because, and then, did you see that was a really like thick one? I just ruffle my fingers through the ones I don't want to be so thick. I just get a bit of spritz with some hairspray. People always ask me how often I wash my hair because I've kind of got very coarse hair. I do it by once, twice a week. That sounds disgusting to people with really like light, silky hair that gets greasy. My hair just does not get greasy, so even when it's a bit like, when I think it's greasy, I feel like a lump in the back, so I'm just going to straighten that out. Um, it's not greasy compared to like a normal person's hair, so I can get away with it a little bit longer. I mean, I did obviously like, I religiously wash my hair once a week, I would never not wash that, it's just minging, but I would always do that. So that's what the bottom bit looks like. Then, I'm just trying to see what it looks like in the mirror. It looks okay actually, it's okay. It's kind of behaving itself. So then, da, 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 I get the next half of my hair. 
like this. Is that about half? Yeah, now it is. And then I do this. Da, da, da. Then I'll section it again. So this is when I tend to use my second bubble. Just whatever bubble. I usually use an invisible, but I found a random hair bunch in my bag this morning. So I needed that before I went to the gym. Because I didn't I couldn't find an invisible bubble. I always have loads, and then this was the one time I didn't have one. So then I brush it. I just brush the tops because I don't really want. And like you can see there's like a leftover curl in there from the other day. Ouch. That really hurt. Turn my strokes back on. And I should say to you use paint protect but I just don't use it I need to get one that I like I just could not find one for ages there's a really nice Kerastase one I used absolutely for ages and then it just I ran out and then I never restocked because sometimes things like that are not my first priorities to restock on so then I literally will pick this up twist it around again I'd probably think this is really simple wait till the end and then it like gets a bit more cotton well so they'll sit really tight to start with and that's what you want you want a tighter curl because a tighter curl lasts longer I used to use always barrel curlers and then I found out actually I could do what I want how I like my hair looking without a barrel curler completely actually because my barrel curler just said adios to me one day I'd had it for quite a few years and it just didn't want to live any longer so I used to actually have it, it's just sat around now, I think. Probably should put that in the bin. Oh, you might hear my dog bark in a second. Wait for it. There we go. I can't do a video without being interrupted. So, I then drop those ones. I'll leave them just to set while I pick up the next bit. Ouch. I like invisible, so they do catch your hair sometimes when you're putting your hair out. I know I probably don't do it the most gracefully. I've got such thick hair. So then it would be like this. My hair's always really fluffy at this point. So then I just do that. Da -da -da. Oh, that made a bit thick that bit. Like so. I like really tight ones by my face and that's not because then I leave them tight. I then can scrumple them more to kind of how I like my hair to look. So then I position here. Then here, da -da -da. oh sugar. I've like, I do that quite often, I manage to like catch the bit of curl. Then I know I've got a bit left in here, in amongst my hair, so I'm just going to have a look. You would think I would do this in a more logical way, but no, I don't do logical. Anybody who knows me knows that is not in my vocabulary. I should have really positioned the mirror more central to the camera, so you're going to think I'm not really looking at you in this. Like that, like so, and then I'll just run the strings over the top. So can you see they all start like grouping together? And then turn those off again. Spray the curl. I was eight the spray. Oh, I've now left a oh, something happens. I need a piece of like hair out. But they'll still be hot, so I'll be able to twist them into place. There we go. Right. I then will position it and kind of ruffle it to like see how I like my cut. I've now done my hair as so you can see like a it's basically a really simple procedure. You pick up the hair straightener, you pick it up, and you twist it. Literally, just twist the hair around until it gets to the end, like that. Just, now that curls all the way around, it's a bit annoying, but oh well. So I either curl against my face, depending on, like sometimes I'll curl facing that way, like I'll twist this way. 
than the other times I've twisted this way. It just depends how I want my curl. I find if I twist towards my face, my curls actually last longer. If I twist against my face, for some reason my curls drop out, but you might find it different for you. But yeah, so at this point I will then just scrub all my hair like this, kind of just all loosely, make sure the curls don't look too tight at any point, squish them. I was getting about 50,000 texts here, I think, from Mark would be like, can you bring this? Can you bring that? Because he's ill at home at his house today. And it's not even because he needs, like, important medicine. It's just he needs certain, like, things he's left. So as you can see, then I kind of just, like, fluff it until I know that's how I want my hair to look. Then I drop a bit more hairspray over it. Ooh. I've eaten so much hair and hairspray through this tutorial. This is lovely that you're going to get some of the most beautiful faces. So then I'm going to lay back a bit so I can actually see in the mirror. Yeah, so I'd probably say that's how I finish my hair. I then will style it over the top some days, centre today. I quite like centre today. And then I can just tuck it behind my ear one side because I do tend to have one bit behind my ear. So yeah, so I thought I'd show you how I do my hair. So if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Please hit the subscribe button if you're new to watching my channel and you like what's on the co what content we've got. And I'd love it if you could subscribe because I do two videos a week also on a Tuesday and a Sunday. So thanks for watching. Bye.